Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here. Today we're gonna be talking all about the corner game, how you get to pressure your opponents once they are in the corner and how to defend when you are being cornered yourself. In the previous video when I talked about the neutral, I got a couple of requests for shimmies, uh, pressure in general, corner game and all of that. So I thought the corner topic was really nice because it kind of covers a good portion of these ideas. The advantage of getting someone to the corner is that they can't walk back. Walking back or walking in general is the least commitment heavy option, right? Because if you try to jump or dash, you get anti-aired, you get jab shaked into combos. So they, they are risky, but movement by walking is a low commitment option. Bison here can't really walk back out of pressure and he can't adjust his position to avoid getting whiff punished. So the two really advantageous situations once you got someone to the corner is either being point blank because you get to apply your pressure or being in this range where you get to poke them and if they try to take back their turn they get whiff punished, right? These are the best two positions when you got someone to the corner. The issue is that uh, many players stay in this range. This is like the crouching medium punch style range this is a problematic range to be in and it is a one that you should try to avoid if you are the aggressor. The issue here is that if the opponent try to jump forward, and this is an option that has become kind of popular uh, in the most recent uh, years, because it is good, right? Uh, the idea here is that if you're very close, the advantageous position, you get to frame trap them, they don't really get to jump. And if you are in the poke and with punish range, you get to anti-air them and you get to maintain the corner position. The issue with this crouching medium punch range is that if you happen to anti-air them, look, they have kind of switched sides. You can maybe like jump back jab or like jump back medium, right? But the issue here is that again, Bison have created a separation. So he kinda got out of the corner. He now have all the screen to work with, right? So you wanna avoid that range. If you're going for a block string, make sure to walk backwards to uh, like anti-air. So let's say for example, like we're going in a situation like that, walk backwards so that you are in range to anti-air them if they happen to jump out. And this also applies if you are the defender. Let's say that Bison is gonna do a block string that like have like a light punch, medium punch, and then he will walk backwards a little bit into that range and go for a heavy, right? After that medium, I'm out. This is the range where as a Cody, I get to jump over him and escape. Yeah, Bison can jump back and the air me, but who cares, now I have more screen to work with. So now let's talk about the throw game, shimmies, and all of that bazaz that happens in the corner. Um, obviously, the corner is a really bad situation to be thrown at, because your opponent would likely be very close to you, the most characters can easily walk forward and throw you again, and then they start to establish a shimmy or uh, like throw bait game, right? Now, the idea here is that shimmies are a really powerful option, but they are also really risky, especially in the corner, because the opponent as a defender have a couple of options. Let, let's set out a sequence where Bison is gonna throw loop uh, Cody in the corner. He's gonna go like throw me here, maybe once more, maybe once more. I'm taking the throws adamantly, but then for the first time I decided to like, I, I'm gonna take now, right? Uh, this guy just throws, so I'm gonna take. Now Bison might try to change up his gameplay and try to shimmy me instead, and then he goes for a standing heavy kick. This is very lucrative for Bison, because he get a really big combo here. This however have a lot of risks that as the person going for the shimmy, you have to be aware of. So Bison have to know this. First of all, he get checked by lows, right? So if you are the defender and you're expecting your opponent to try to go for a shimmy, you can always shake them low, right? Obviously, if you if they go for a frame trap here, this could be very risky, but it's an option, right? The other option, and this is one that have been popular for a while, I would say especially more so at the lower level of gameplay, is jumping backwards. And if the opponent is trying to shimmy with a heavy, jumping back will most likely give you a jumping combo on them, 
right? As the person going for the corner pressure and the shimmy, this is very important. Many players using many characters, Colleen, Ken, Cody in a way, Bison, many others. They always try to use heavies to confirm their shimmies. But that is a risk. If your opponent jump backward, you get combo punished. What you wanna do in this situation is you wanna shimmy with the medium. For example, in this same instant, Bison here can shimmy with his standing medium punch. He still gets the standing medium crouching medium combo, but what happens is if Cody happens to jump, he is safe, right? This is a small tip, but it will go a long way of keeping you safer when you go for the shimmies once you got them to the corner. And speaking of shimming and bison in particular, because I saw a comment on the previous video, I believe it was by Parabolic Cat, who said that they have issues shimming bison in particular. This is because bison have the largest throw range in the game. So it is hard to walk out of his throw range. For example here, if I am Cody, and I try to uh, do a duck jumping attack on bison and try to walk back, it is difficult for Cody to walk back out of his throw range, right? I have to land the jumping heavy kick very deep to be able to get out, or I have to use a target combo, and even that isn't like the most reliable all the time, right? But these are like my ways of actually getting to shimmy bison. With, for example, a crouching light punch, this is kind of like a 50 50. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But with a standing light kick, it is a little bit easier to get out of his throw range. So this is more of like a matchup specific thing against Bison, against Honda. They have a larger throw range than usual. So maybe instead of shimmying, uh, maybe like you can go for like a frame trap here. Right? Maybe that could be more effective. Or just know your frame advantage and the situations where you can get to shimmy them. The third tip, and this one is pretty important. It's a small detail that might go over some people's head is that when you try to throw someone in the corner, always make sure to buffer your anti-air as you are doing so. So let's say for example, Cody isn't gonna go for a shimmy, he's just gonna go for a jab into a throw, right? Jab into a throw, Bison jumps. What you wanna do here with Cody is use your uh, throw and then immediately buffer or start pressing your heavy punch. Because if the throw happened to land, nothing comes out. But if the throw whiffs, you get your anti-air as soon as possible. Now obviously with a character like Cody, it's a little bit easier because it's a single bottom press. Some characters have to do super, some characters have to do shoryukens, some characters have to do all sorts of other special moves. So it is important to buffer that. If I'm trying to show you that, but for example with super, right, as I'm doing the throw, I buffer the super input. I saw him jump, I just pressed the heavy punch and I got the super to go for the anti-air, right? It's a small tip, but it's gonna make a ton of difference at maintaining your pressure. So the number four tip is when to use the reversal offensively and when to use it defensively, because this is a really important element of the corner game. Let's say that we got Bison to the corner. Let's start with the offensive first. We got Bison to the corner, right? We said that maybe you wanna try to like poke him and he will try to poke back and then you can set up a whiff punish or something. But maybe your character isn't very good at setting up these whiff punishes, right? Not everyone is Cody and get the whiff punish, obviously something like Bison's heavy punch or Psycho Axe. I can't really poke him and walk back out of his range and punish this effectively, it is really difficult. What you wanna do here is if your opponent commits to a heavy or a fireball, this is a good time to actually be reversal offensively because this will leave you very close to your opponent. You can simply walk up and get to uh, pressure them immediately with a throw or whatever, right? A lot of characters do this. This is particularly important if you have a knockdown V reversal. So something like Cody, something like Bison's, Karen, Akira, etc, etc, etc. It is almost always good to try to V reversal if they did a fireball or if they did a heavy normal, right? 
Now, as the defender, when is it a good time to actually be universal? It's kind of the same deal again when they commit to a heavy. This is like the safest and best universal where you will almost never get a thrown out of it. If Boston here ever did like this heavy punch, this is a free escape. This is a free universal. If you try to uh, like universal the jab, he gets to block it. If you try to universal the medium, he, depending on the character and the situation, he will be able to block it sometimes and sometimes not. Kind of, this is kind of like a character by character and normal by normal basis. Characters who have longer recovery on their mediums uh, will get uh, hit out of their... Uh, like they will not be able to throw you out of it or block it, but some can. But the general rule is that heavies is where you would always be able to be reversal to escape, right? So this is something just to keep in mind. It's not a bad idea to be reversal if you're very low, if you're very high on stun. So if you're if you're almost about to get stunned, be reversal isn't bad because it lowers your stun by 10%. So it's not a bad option either. But if you want to make it as safe as possible, just make sure to be reversal heavies and also fireballs as well if you got cornered. And now for the most important tip, if you are the person getting cornered, honestly just be patient, try to take your space back inch by inch, and wait for an opening to get out. Like we said, if the bison is like in this medium range, you get to jump over them, maybe bison will try to dash forward, right? Shake this dash and uh, punish it, right? And this will give you some space. Maybe Bison, like I said, would be in the medium, jump over them. Maybe he would do a heavy, we reversal it. Maybe he will do something like a heavy blast, V shift and go for the punish. You have to know your opponent options in the corner, especially after a throw. Know what your opponent exactly get after a throw. This is vital and you have multiple options to escape. If you're expecting a shimmy, you got the crouching light kick, you got to jump back. If they are in the mid range, you can jump over them. If they are dashing at you, trying to maintain blast frames, you can jab check it. If they are doing something that is reactable, you can V-shift. If they did a heavy, you can V-reversal. So honestly, you have a lot of options and your opponent will sooner or later give you an opening to escape. Just be patient, stay calm, and wait for that opening. And that's pretty much it for the corner situation. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment, it helps the channel so much. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon page and the Discord server page in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.